When I was younger, I actually used to be very nervous. And uh, I remember when I worked at Blue Horse many years ago, they apparently it was it was pretty bad, I guess, because my boss came and told me he thought I should see a sports psychiatrist. And I said that uh, I absolutely don't need that. So one day he said, well, he's sitting in the office, go talk to him. And uh, so I had to go talk to him. And that is probably the best thing I have done ever. That, that really helped a lot. I got music to listen to and, and ways to go through your test in your head, you know, all the positive things. We tend to, when we, when we go through the test, if we close your eyes and go through the test, we tend, to, we tend to see all the mistakes we can make instead of seeing all the, see it like with no mistakes when you, visual, when you visualize it. So, so uh, I think that's one very good way of doing it um, and you can also work with yourself you know it, it's at the end of the day it's it's just another sandbox you know and uh, that's easier said than done but but if you if you think about it that way it, it doesn't have to be so scary to go in there I've uh, learned to really use visualization um, before I show um, to help me prepare. Um, I go over the test several times in my mind and I, I really try to write every step, every corner, every movement um, beforehand so many times that if I, if I do it right, um, it sort of unfolds in the show ring um, by nature, just naturally, really easy. Um, I make sure not to uh, think about the things I'm worried about. Oh, oh no, I hope that this doesn't happen. I, I really try to ride the perfect test in my mind. Um, and I probably do that maybe three days before the competition starting, just a little bit every day. Um, and then right before I get on, I really spend some time, put my headphones on, don't get bothered by anybody, turn the phone off, and, re and really focus on riding the test. It's organizing yourself before the actual competition is very important. I connect myself with the horse a little bit. I, I like to spend some time with him or her, making sure, talking, you know, brushing, do some of the stuff myself actually. And then you just go and just do it and try not to worry. And if you make a mistake, then you made a mistake, but you move on and you don't look back and forward and upwards, that's how it goes. I think the biggest thing is training yourself mentally to be really focused on the ride and only the ride and what you feel and being um, a little bit ahead of yourself so you can be prepared. So for competition nerves, they're always there. I actually kind of use them to my advantage. I think that with the little bit of nerve, you have a little bit more adrenaline, so you're a little bit more focused and on point. Um, I have a couple little kind of knickknacks, I guess you could say, that I take with me to every single show. Um, I have a little stuffed Nemo, because my kind of motto is just keep swimming. If something doesn't go quite according to plan, you just keep swimming and keep moving forward. So I have Nemo with me all the time. And then my sister made me a little compact that basically, this is really silly, but um, she basically made it. I got it when I was like 14 years old and I still have it. Um, that if I push the little button on this compact, I would have magical equestrian powers. So I have that in my tack trunk all the time too, um, which now at 30 sounds a little silly, but it's still there and it's my lucky charm. So I take it with me everywhere. Um, and then just being prepared also helps with show nerves. So you know, just studying your tests, knowing your movements, kind of having a plan for when you get to the show helps to kind of battle all of that too. I've never been really nervous. I keep them pretty much under control. As I said before, track and field helped me to control them because at that moment you really need all your body to be relaxed in order to do it, but also to be able to compete every weekend. It trains you to calm down and just look at it as another chance, you know, because if you're going to miss something, you're going to miss it either way. Either if you're nervous or you're not. So you might as well want to control that and enjoy it because that's what it's all about. Honestly, I don't have to deal with my nerve because I have so much fun and that I really enjoy each moment. So I don't have any problem and any trouble with it. I think it's important to have a routine that you follow. And I usually have a routine that goes from the actually the whole competition days. I know exactly what I want to do and how I want to plan my day and I have the same ritual every bigger show that I do the same way and then I feel comfortable and I don't even have any nerves. Already the day before the show I do ride my test in the head. I can do that uh, like 10 times. I ride it and I do actually ride it from inside so I see myself riding it uh, where I'm gonna aim and where I'm gonna land and when I get to a new showground where I've never been before I put myself on the Tribune 
and I look it look how it looks and I also realize that I'm going to aim to that door when I do the two tempest or I'm going to ride in that direction so I know that I'm familiar with that arena where I am especially indoors when there's a lot of commercial around and you don't really recognize your arena otherwise it's important for me to to be sure that I know where I am the whole time preparation 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 so if you're confident in your skill level like you know your horse has the skill level for the test you're about to do and has the fitness to do it and you have the fitness to do it and you have a routine like it comes from repetitive uh, doing it over and over again so I'm pretty confident in my pre-game routine now I have the same routine all the time with my grooms they know you know how much time I need on him and you know that for me to be comfortable when he needs to be braided by so that you know uh, so say I'm I have 40 minutes I want to get on him 40 minutes before I go I want him completely ready to be shown an hour before so that no one's there's no last minute braiding and no last minute everything going on and then when the routine is established and then you know at home you can really do a good job on that test, that handles the nerves for you. You're always going to get some positive nerves, but um, that gets rid of the negative nerves.